Internships are so, so important. And in this video, I am discussing my top five tips on how to get an internship that will lead to a real, really real job. When I was in film school, I had three internships. So I am no stranger to what it takes to find the right internship and to impress the client for possible future paid work. Let's dive in. Tip number one, understand the right platforms. Where are you looking right now for internships? There are definitely a few that I've used in the past, like Indeed or LinkedIn or Facebook groups. If you're a student, it definitely is a great idea to email your favorite professor or career counselor to see if they know of any internships that are hiring. Tip number two, be present on social media. With social media being so incredibly vast and the lines crossing between personal and professional relationships, there are tons of of groups that you can join or people that you can follow that will help you stay in the know when certain internships become available. Now, this is the very best way that I have seen because especially in the creative field, a lot of internships are going to be a lot more casual. And so they're more likely to post them on like a Facebook group or a forum. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Tip number three, the cover letter. This tip in particular strikes a nerve with me because I cannot tell you how many times I have passed up on an intern simply because I know nothing about them that would make me want to hire them. Where does this kind of information come from? The cover letter. You need to introduce yourself. You need to add personality. You need to explain what you want to learn, any holes or gaps in your resume, what you can provide to them. You can do all this by not only providing your resume and your portfolio, but providing a customized, not a general, a customized cover letter telling the company everything that you want to learn and everything that you can provide for them. and just everything about yourself so that they can get to know you, form a connection with you, and become interested in hiring you. Tip number four, be responsive. Sometimes when you're going through hiring platforms, you're going to get messages through those specific platforms. So whether it's Indeed or LinkedIn's Messenger or even Facebook Messenger, make sure that you are consistently checking these messengers every single day in the case that you get a message on there. Skipping one or two days can easily make the company think that you are unresponsive, that you are irresponsible, and more than anything, that you really don't care if you get said internship. Tip number five, taking advantage. This is more of a bonus tip because it is for after you've already gotten the job. In order to get the best possible experience and a chance at a, an actual future job or a letter of recommendation, you are going to need to evolve from who you were at the start of the internship. At the start of any internship, you are usually learning and taking more than you can provide the company. You're honestly a little bit of a burden. This is coming from me. I've had three internships, so I know. You have to be trained. You make a lot of mistakes. You don't even know anybody's name. But by the end of the internship, you should be able to provide more to the company than what you are taking from them. Meaning you've learned everything that you can learn there. You're done asking so many questions. You should be able to feel essentially some ownership for the position as if you were actually working there. It can be maybe a task that they can give you and you can just go ahead and do it without them needing to hold your hand. Maybe now you can go the whole day without making any mistakes. Because once you reach that point, that is the only point that companies will start to actually notice you. Now it's like you were really working for them. Now they don't want to lose you because you are providing so much for them. Now they consider maybe I don't want to get another intern again because then I have to go through this whole process when look, I've already trained this person. It makes you incredibly hireable to have this evolution. At the very least, if they cannot hire you at this moment, they will at least leave you with a very glowing recommendation that you can use at your own free will to get 
a job. And hey, since you made it this far, please hit the like button below and hit subscribe for more tips on video editing, creativity, and freelance lifestyle. Check out these videos next for more tips on getting hired as a video editor. Thank you to my team. Again, I'm Colleen, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.